War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself, for my wife, for my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, it's that war, war never changes. Never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Hey, my turn, big guy. Every time I see that face, I fall in love with you all over again. Best hairdresser, I swear. New hairstyle? I love it.
think Sean has my eyes. More of the same. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> oh, sounds like someone made a sticky. I shall attend you, young Shaw. I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Can someone so small drink so much? Remind me again. Why, we're about you, ma'am, and helping secure your future. You see, vault is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. And coming sooner than you may think. If you catch my meaning... Now, I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see.
Wonderful. That's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Miss Zoe, Sean has been changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that maternal affection you seem to be so good at. <laughs> Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help, okay? My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey, I fixed that mobile on his crib the other day. Why don't you give it a spin? That's my boy. On his best behavior, just like his dad. Well... Most of the time, anyway. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Yeah, sounds like fun. Sir? Mom? You should come and see this! Codsworth? What's wrong? Followed by... Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes. Sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have what? lost contact with what our affiliate stations. Oh, no. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. We need to get to the vault now. I've got Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. Hold on, Mr. to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. Good luck, sir. And God help us all. You two, follow me. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside the gate? We're doing everything we can. Now keep moving. Step on the platform in the center. Is Sean okay? He's fine. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Oh my god! Hold on! Proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just... Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we had left a minute later... No, no. We don't Don't be. get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Everyone, just head up these stairs and through the door there.
Over there. Take a suit. Looks good. You'll need your suits before we can take you further. Take a vault suit, then head down the hall. Thanks. What now? Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. See? It's down the hallway right there. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in D.C. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. It's a good fit, don't you think? The vault suit is designed to be fashionable, as well as comfortable. Prepared for the future, right? Just step in here and put your vault suit on. decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three. Come on, come on. Oh, God. I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. Giant 
Roaches? What the hell? What happened here? Where is everyone? Gotta find the terminal. Later for you. All that's left?
Wadsworth. You're still here. So other people could still be alive too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International. But you will seem the worse for wear. Best not let the hubby see you in that state, huh? Where is Sir, by the way? They came into the vault. Maybe you saw them. They had guns and strange outfits. Mm, only Miss Rose's boy running around in his Halloween costume more than a week early. <laughs> I swear, the nerve of that woman leaving her brat unsupervised. Oh, not like you, Mum. You're the perfect mother. <laughs> and Sir is... Uh, uh, where is Sir, by the by? They... They killed him. Oh, Mum, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this, this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or, or perhaps charades. Oh, Sean does so love that game. <laughs> is, is the lad uh, with you? Sean's been kidnapped. But I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna get my baby back. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you sure? A bit over 210, actually, Mum. Give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack if you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting a little weird. What's wrong? I... I... Just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets out nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house <laughs> and the car. The car! How do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, Mum. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were, were dead. I, I did find this hollow tape. I believe Sir was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well... Everything happened. Thank you, Codsworth. You, you're welcome. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Sir and young Sean may turn up yet. All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, Mum.
Thanks for trying, Codsworth. You can't keep up, Mum. What about the city? Concord is nearby, and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, Mum. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the home. Hey boy, what are you doing out here all by yourself? You want to come with me, pal? Okay then, let's stick together.
group of settlers inside. The raiders are almost through the door. Grab that laser musket and help us, please! him. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. Preston Garvey, Commonwealth Minuteman. Glad to help. Ah, that ain't it. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in a bit of a mess here. God damn it. Please, go on. A month ago, there were 20 of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First it was the ghouls in Lexington, and now this mess. Sorry. Sounds really rough. Thanks. Maybe. It's good to meet someone who no. really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Those raiders proved us wrong. But... God damn it. Well, we do have one idea. 
One good idea can make all the difference. Sturgis, tell it. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school, pre-war. You might have seen it. Well, looks like one of its passengers left behind a seriously sweet goodie. We're talking a full suit of cherry T-45 power armor. Military issue. I like it. <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertibird. Do that, and those raiders get an express ticket to hell. You dig? And I can use the minigun like a rifle. Don't see why not. It'll have a manual trigger. Just aim it at the bad guys and do the old spray and pray. Now, as for the armor, it's out of juice. Probably has been for a hundred years. It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. I'll help if I can. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. And we know right where to find one. But we can't get to the damn thing. It's down in the basement. Locked behind a security gate. Look, I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. <laughs>